Hello, happy June. Today we're gonna go up Mount Iozen. So on this ride up Iozen, we'll be going 42 miles or a little under 70K, up a steep but scenic road climb along the mountain ridge that divides Ishikawa and Toyama prefectures. And then we'll head back to the Sea of Japan coast with a stop for some locally made ice cream. On my way from Uchinata into the city, I passed lots of flat rice fields, so this grove of trees stood out to me. Earlier in the week, I had noticed a tori gate there, so I decided to see what was on the other side. This footage is from then, and sorry that it's just iPhone quality, but tucked in the trees back here was this very peaceful little shrine. Back on the road, we're in northeast Kanazawa on the outskirts of the city. We're actually staying out of the downtown part and skirting around the busy roads by staying east on the far side of the Asunogawa River. The main part of today's ride will be climbing Mount Ayo, or Ayozen, a mountain that's about 939 meters, or 3,000 feet, that borders both Kanazawa City in Ishikawa and Nanto City in Toyama. There's actually a small municipal ski resort that we'll ride by on the Kanazawa side, and it looked like there was a different ski lift going down to the Nanto side too when I got to the top. This section of town had little banners promoting traffic safety for bikes, which was nice to see. It's a pretty popular area to ride in, and I saw so many other cyclists out enjoying this same climb. This is kind of where the base of the climb starts, and it gets significantly steeper here. There are several breaks, though, where it flattens out, which is nice to catch your breath. Ah, oh, and we're on the base of the climb right now. On the way up to the city ski slopes, I passed this shop that had fish for sale on the roadside. The tank said Yamame, and I looked up later that this is a type of trout, called cherry trout. Hey fishy! Apparently they get their name because they swim up river in May, the same time that the cherry trees are blooming. Across from the ski area here is a temple, and a little farther up is a recreation center with an outdoor climbing wall, tennis courts, and a gym. There's a cafe up here on the right that I'd like to stop at sometime, and if you kept going straight, you would descend back down and you could turn back to Kanazawa. We'll keep going up though, and the climb gets more wooded from here. This badger was running away from the car and I got him on video a little bit. It was my first time seeing a Japanese badger, or an anaguma. They're very cute. We're almost at the top. It's real humid out here. <laughs> Over there, I think, is Kanazawa. And when we get to the top, we'll be able to see down into Oyabe in the neighboring Toyama prefecture. Whew. The road going down here was closed, and that's actually how I found the road that we're about to ride on. Earlier this week, I'd planned to ride on the closed road down to Nanto, but then riding along the ridge took me to an even prettier view. Behind me is Toyama Prefecture, looking down into Nanto and Oyabe. Over here is what we saw earlier, looking back towards Kanazawa and Ishikawa Prefecture. Now we're on Aozen. We're gonna go down the other side, back towards Tsubata this time. As you can tell, you can drive your car or your motorcycle up to these roads. And here it opens up to the Iozen Prefectural Park with camping sites, rest buildings, and parking lot. As I was enjoying that view and a snack, a hiker actually invited me to join them at the rest building for tea or coffee. I felt kind of bad that I was so sweaty and I didn't really stay very long, but it was a very kind gesture. The inside of that rest building was full of maps and photos of local animals as well as photos of hikers at the mountain summits around here. This descent back down was so refreshing, but as I mentioned at the beginning, ice cream was waiting for me at the bottom, so the best was yet to come. By this point in the descent, my arms were getting so tired, you can see how much they're shaking from the bumpy road. In Japan, I read that roads have to have some kind of anti-slip surface or grooves on anything steeper than a 7% grade, but it does get kind of tiring to ride over. We're 
We're riding away from Kanazawa now, over towards Tsubata, which is one of the towns in the Kahoku Lagoon area. On one of my previous rides, I went by this building on the right, which looks like it used to be a shop. I liked the storefront and glass display so much that I actually painted it as a pretend flower shop. And now it makes me smile whenever I ride by it. Here we're getting back into the more agricultural side of town, and we'll ride through some rice and lotus fields on our way to get ice cream. This is one of the bridges that crosses the Kahuku Lagoon, and you'll notice that there are lots of fields and farms out here. Actually, 47% of all the milk produced in this prefecture is from here in Uchinata, so sometimes it's called the Milk Kingdom. Yume Milk Hall is one of the shops in the so-called Milk Kingdom, and though the shop closes at 5 p.m., they have an ice cream vending machine outside. The owners made this ice cream vending machine themselves, and each door has one ice cream behind it. You insert four 100 yen coins, press the red lever, and the little door will open. Uh, of course, I immediately <laughs> dropped it. <laughs> but luckily, the ice cream is packaged very securely. I sat on a very cute cow bench to eat it, and there was a park area for kids, some other benches and picnic tables around, and even some farm animals that you could pet. This is the perfect thing to have at the end of a ride. So I'm sitting on this cow bench, but there is actually a real cow over here in this little shelter. I'm gonna go say hi to her in a second. Overall, I really like this ice cream. It's really not super sweet, which is kind of interesting. I like it a lot. You do have to bring 100 yen coins. It only takes 100 yen coins, so you're out of luck if you have anything else because it doesn't give you any change. So if you have exactly four 100 yen coins, you can get a little ice cream. Now that I know the nearby farm has an ice cream vending machine, it's going to be hard to not finish all my rides with ice cream. Hello. Hi, look at this little guy. <laughs> Hi, are you friendly? Can I pet you? Hi, look at him. He's so little. And then, look at her. Thank you for the milk. Her ice cream was very tasty. Yeah, and you're very special too, even though you can't make any ice cream. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. If you subscribe or hit the like button, it helps me know what kind of videos you enjoy watching. Of course, you can always comment below where you think I should ride next. See you then.